the best Pokemon card set of the year, V-Star Universe, let's go. Gotta catch them all Pokemon fans, welcome to another Place Kit Games video. Thank you again for being here with me today, I know it's been a, a while, we've been very busy, we just got back from Arlington Regions, we've got the beautiful staff Reggie Lecky playmat, thank you to everyone from day two events uh, um, who was at Arlington Regions, but it's not about that, it's not about me, it's about the brand new, say relatively new, V-Star Universe set that came out in Japan. This is going to be our Crown Zenith set, or most of the cards are going to be in our Crown Zenith set that we're going to get on. I believe January the 20th uh, please you know remember to follow our socials we might even have pre-orders up soon for Crown Zenith stuff um, not sure but yeah V-Star Universe absolutely cracked um, there's just so many nice um, art rares and uh, character rares and other cool um, things that we you can get from this from this Japanese set so I'm super thrilled um, to finally be opening I'm praying for that god pack so I can get that expensive Pikachu card the one that you know the cards that form up the um, the set of nine when you when you open them that would be absolutely incredible um, but um, I'd just be happy with anything cool there's, there's so many nice things in in this set so we'll show you how it looks like um, you might see it in a store um, and you might you know you might get it like that so that's how you might see it in the store and then you get 10 booster packs it's a special Japanese set final set of the year they're called the high class sets for those who don't know same as shiny star V um, GX Tag All Stars and all of the other um, more recently V Max Climax. They form like the um, you know the best sets of the year, and you get them at the end, of it and they're normally like super popular, and you get guaranteed like Vs and um, V Stars in them. So I'm very hyped to finally be opening, finally be opening V Star Universe. Let's see. I'm gonna, I've not even had any time to open any V Star Universe the past two to three weeks. However, however long this set's been out for. I've been so crazily busy. I don't even know if there's a pack trick. We'll we'll go through we'll go through it first, like the first pack, just like normally. See if there's any see if there's any kind of like trick or or scheme going on. Let's see if we can get them in focus. There we go. So we've got a nice Electrovire. So a lot of these cards are also super playable as well. They see a lot of playing decks and you know stuff. So there's a lot of nice playable cards in here as well. New art on the rescue carrier. That's pretty cool. Hopefully we get these um, new new trainer card artworks um, in the V Star Universe. Ooh, a nice leafy on V. So yeah, that's our guaranteed V for the pack. And I think you get at least one guaranteed hollow. So there's a nice Latios, a Regigigas. Ooh, and a really cool grass energy. Look at the pattern on. Look, just guys, just come on. Come on. Look at the pattern on this art, on this, on this grass energy. Isn't that isn't that good? I mean, it's very hard to see in the light, but yeah, just look at that. Look at the energy symbols. Just, oh my goodness, it's taking up all the light because it's so beautifully and sparkly. That is super cool. And that is a secret rare as well. Hopefully that doesn't take up our, our entire secret rare for the box. But that is a beautiful... I'm going to... I'm playing proxy decks like I'm practicing for a tournament or something. Um, I'm definitely going to put that um, grass energy in my in my deck. That is absolutely just gorgeous. I am in love with that grass energy. Um, but yeah, Arlington Regionals was absolutely fantastic. I was a TCG judge there in Dallas and Texas. And... There was over 1,200 Masters players. It was like a record, I think, for for like a regional championship. So it was also my first time in Texas. I had some lovely steak. Um, got to do all sorts of wonderful things. Met, met loads of lovely people. Oh, we got our first art rare of the box. The beautiful Altaria. Is that a, a Seiko Ito? I don't know who that artist is, but that's really cool. So you can see there. So we'll get a bit of a shadow going on here. I don't know whether it's just because of the room, maybe because I'm too far this way. I don't know, but maybe we can put the card a bit more over here. Maybe that will help. I don't know, but um, yeah, beautiful um, Altaria art rare. Oh, and a Rayquaza VMAX as well. And an Irida and a Barrel, two extremely playable cards. I wish these were in English. Um, but yeah, beautiful Rayquaza. That's the reprint of the ones from Blue Sky Scream. Some Blue Sky Stream. So you get mostly reprint cards. And like most of these things see play at some point as well. But yeah, beautiful art rare card. And you can tell because it's a dragon. It's got the the claw slash in like the Japanese. It's got the, the slashes of the claws at the top. Um, so these are kind of like old arts, they're not really old arts, they're called um, art rares, um, AR for short. And then there's a chance, if we're lucky, we're going to get a super art rare, which can feature like V or VMAX Pokemon, or potentially um, the trainer, um, such as like Gardenia 
or um, Roxanne. They can they can be an art rare as well. So hopefully we can pull um, pull some of those super art rare cards. That'll be awesome. I'm also looking out for Radiant Eternatus because I want to play him in a proxy deck that I've got going on. See, that's partly the reason I've been kind of motivated to wait this. I want to pull Radiant Eternatus. So we've got a nice Palkia V. That's really cool. Very, again, a very strong card. And a hollow re Ooh, and unfortunately our radiant for the pack is the Greninja, but it's still the most powerful radiant. And you know, radiant Greninja is like, you know, all of the radiants are very popular, and the shiny, the shiny Greninja is. Um, there we go. Good, good webcam. The shiny Greninja has some of the best artwork, and we got one of the, the new reverse hollow patterns. It looks like snow dust or like ice or crystals like all over the car that is so cool these boxes are absolutely stacked um i love these boxes so much um put you there put the regular v's there won't sleeve the regular v's up now but imagine being a player in japan like just the just the greninja the palkia the leafion like out of three packs it's just insane it's just absolutely insane. i'm so jealous of the of the uh, of the players in Japan who gets to who gets to actually get to open these and use them straight away. Hopefully, Crown Zenith uh, January twentieth when the ETBs and the um, Reggie V collection boxes come out. Hopefully, there'll be some you know some more reprints and some nice cards that we can use in our decks here as well because I do like to play just as much as I am like volunteering. So I think Semi Seer V Star is a new one. I'm not sure if it's overly playable. I haven't been seeing. Yeah, I don't think it's been seen too much play in Japan, but that's always cool to see. Nice ditto. Look at that wide boy. So this is a reprint of the ditto from uh, Pokemon Go, which is really cool. That's a beautiful artwork. And a Gudra and another cool reverse pattern, this time on the Elisa Sparkle. So what was our V on V star? Put that there. And I think the uh, ditto deserves to be in the in the pile of nice things because I, I think the ditto just looks, it just looks neat. It looks neat, guys. That's what I'm going to say about ditto. Right. So we are doing quite well. We've still got at least six packs to go. I don't think we've had our main hit. Um, I don't think the, the grass energy will count as our as our main like hit or secret rare from the box. I'm really not sure, but I hope it doesn't because that'll make me a bit sad, but we'll see how it goes. So we got a cool Marie Bah. We got Purloin, Gardenia. We want to pull definitely want to pull that cat super art character. What are the new cards? Um this is Friends in I think this is Friends in Sinnoh. It's got Cynthia and Dawn and like the main characters from um, like uh, from Diamond and Pearl, and they also I think they made a friends in um, the region in Arceus. I literally played that game a few months ago. The um, friends in the Arceus region. Oh, we got another art rare. We got a beautiful Absol. That is gorgeous. Look at that. I think it's probably one of my least favorite arts from the art rares, but it's just in, in just general. It just it's, it's beautiful. I think it's I just knew we never been a fan of Absol in general. Maybe, but that's still a beautiful card. Oh, we got a super art rare. It's the Deoxys. I think this is the yeah, it's the Deoxys because there's all beetles in the picture as well. This is so it's like an alien abduction. You've got Deoxys with all beetle, both V Max versions. I think no, at least Deoxys is V Max. I don't know if um, the all beetles are V Max as well, but oh my goodness, look at that! You have got the planet behind as well, and it's all tech. Look at those wavy lines in the background there. That is a gorgeous, beautiful, beautiful, gorgeous card. I'm very happy with that. <laughs> Oh <laughs> no! We pulled the Cynthia Super Art Rare as well! No bloody way. That is insane. Oh my goodness. <sighs> okay, I thought because there was a VMAX in that pack, like, because the, the, these are both Super Art Rares. We got two Super Art Rares in the same pack, guys. And this is one of the ones you want. This is the Cynthia's Ambition. It's a reprint of the Cynthia's Ambition card, um, but this is the full art version um, with the tiny little Gastrodon. And I think this is the first time that Gastrodon, someone was telling me the other day, if my webcam would focus, I think this is the first time that Gastrodon's actually featured on like a chase card before. Moments later. I'm just going to do a little close up on my phone of this card so you can see what it looks like. Um, oh my goodness, um, just look how beautiful. That is, so you can see the little Gastrodon there, that's one of the first times I think Gastrodon's been on like a chase card before. Absolutely beautiful. Um, definitely going to get this one graded. It's, it's insane pull. Oh my goodness, so yeah, I thought I'd just show, show you a close up of that guys, because like, this webcam is absolutely atrocious. But yeah, I can't believe we got both the Deoxys and the Deoxys VMAX. Um, I think it's Speed Form, or I don't know the names of the forms very well. And the and the Cynthia Art Rare card in the same pack, and the and the Absol. That was almost like a God pack. It was like three huge hits. I didn't even realise you could 
could get like three hits inside the same pack. That is just insane. And we've still got five packs today. This is crazy. This is absolutely crazy. I am so stoked at the moment with this with this set, and it's easily the best set of the year. Um, in terms of English sets, um, I've kind of gone into more details on my Patreon. Please click link in the description. I talked about my best sets of the year. Um, but just a little spoiler, I think my worst set of the year is actually Silver Tempest because it's just, it's so it's so bloated. The English so this is the English version, not obviously Paradigm Trigger. The English version of Silver Tempest is just so bloated. Um, ooh, nice regular Rayquaza V, uh, a nice Magnazone, Absol, and a Reverse Hollow Reggie Rock with that crazy sort of glitter of dusty pattern thing. Yeah, the regular version of Silver Tempest just seems um, very kind of like bloated to me. Um, and the and the trainer gallery is nowhere near as good as the Lost Origin or the Brilliant Stars one. So, and because Astral Rate, the main set, and the Astral Radiant sort of has a few nicer chase cards in it, aside from a Lugia. So basically, if you don't pull a Lugia card, your booster box is pretty like average at best in Silver Tempest. Ah, oh, new artwork on Badoof. Let's go. That is a gorgeous new artwork. And I think it's immune to bench damage as well. So I think this might be the, the optimal Bidoof going forward. It depends on how much Sableye decks are around, because obviously you don't want to play a 60 HP Bidoof. And a new artwork on Trekking Shoes, that is awesome. But yeah, I, I wasn't a massive fan of Silver Tempest, looking back at it objectively. But if you want to see my best set of the year, click click link in the description, and um, the best English set, click link in the description, go to my Patreon and check out my um, one of my, um, my latest podcasts. We have an exclusive podcast for the Patreons. Um, so we got here a beautiful Entai V. I think this first appeared in like the Start Deck 100. So if you want to play Fire Decks, this is in Japan. This was actually a good, a good time to get this as a reprint. A nice Mill Tank. Shout out to my niece Amber who loves Mill Tank. Boss's orders and a nice crazy like mad Gardenia kind of card. That is awesome. Um, right, put the put the reverse hollows over there. Definitely going to keep lots of these cards and use them as proxies for like for like practice decks in the future. There's so many nice, so many nice cards. Everything is kind of like in a jumble of a mess here, but the synth, it's all about that beautiful synth here. Absolutely gorgeous. Um, I don't care what we get from the rest, rest of the packs now. They're a bonus after after we got there. Um, Swain Voltorb, a Reggie Steel, Gate Jaw Bog, Elisa. Got to pick Axe and Sarah or a V Star. That's so cool. Because we had to get these in promo boxes. I, don't, I never got a chance to open them in the end. But yeah, Zera or a V Star promo boxes. And to get those in the pack is pretty cool. Galarian Zapdos and a cool Reverse Hollow uh, Nikki, I think it is. Um, so there's Zera Aura. We're going to bother sleeving those up. We've got two cards left to go. I put the Zera Aura over here. Two cards left, two packs left to go. V Star Universe, insane. If you want to get some of these V-Star Universe booster boxes, I think they're a reasonable, more of a reasonable price now, but don't expect to get them like at the near or close to the Japanese RRP unless you're in Japan and you just happen to luck, luck out on like a restock day or something like that. But hopefully, ooh, a new art rare. That's cool. We've got some Electrovire there, and you can see Magmortar's kind of like chilling in the background. And on the Magmortar one... Um, I think they're in a cave doing other stuff, like with, with Electrovire in the background. So they create a nice little story. That's just an absolutely gorgeous card. I'm very happy with that one. And a nice Samurott V um, for our V for slot. So it seems like the, the the art rares and stuff are sort of mixed rounds. Sometimes we have them at the back, and sometimes we have them like at the front. So that time, the, the art rare was um, a bit more like towards the front of the pack. But yeah, um, last pack magic, guys. It's going to be hard to top this beautiful Cynthia card, but let's see if we can finish with some fire. Um, maybe another art rare court card would be cool. Or maybe like a um, like an Arcus V Star or something. Maybe the regular Arcus V Star I'd be happy with. Let's, let's see. So I would say guess the energy game. There is no energies in these booster packs. Please remember if you enjoyed this opening, you want to see more openings, um, encourage me. To do more YouTube videos. Leave a comment below. I'll do more YouTube videos in 2023. Get more comments. Let's get some energy going. Let's go. Uh, please remember to also um, like and subscribe um, to the channel if you enjoyed it. Right, Cricket 2. Oh, okay. I'll take a Mu V Max. That's a good one. I'll take a Mu V Max. One of the more popular um, and stronger sort of V Max cards from the past like two years. Um, this Mu V Max, the English version, got me my first ever. Um, day two at a major tournament in Salt Lake City, so very happy with that. And a nice Gengar, 
Beautiful way to finish. And a Keldeo. And a reverse Colress. That's awesome. Just look at look how many things I got from this one booster box of V-Star Universe. And the fact that we got the two main hits in the same pack is absolutely cracked. But yeah, I'm absolutely in love with V-Star Universe. What a set. Um, let me leave a comment below. Let me know what you think of V-Star Universe. Um, do you think it's the best overall release of 2022 um you know are you excited for the crown zenith january 20th please join our discord click link below if you want to join our discord server and you know find out the first be amongst the first to know when we get pre-orders up for the english set crown zenith and please remember to obviously like subscribe to the channel and have a very merry christmas i'll see you very soon pokemon fans go to catch them all Thank you to these lovely people. They get exclusive market updates, Japanese buying guide videos, how to grade your cards directly with PSA and all sorts. Please click the link below and check out the PlayScape Games Patreon. And I'll see you very soon, Pokemon fans. Gotta catch them.